And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Burnett has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. From their own 26-yard line, second down. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Strike to his receiver, no good. Well, the defense stood tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. Crawford is waiting for the snap. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Hampton's a guy that comes out here on the road. The coaching staff knows that he is in a hostile environment. I think they're hoping that that's going to play in their favor a little bit. Well, I think they want to challenge him. You know, over the, over the year, I think they've seen that he has an ability to make plays, but when he gets on the road, he has a tendency to maybe to cough the ball up and not play as well. And I think that they feel like they can really try to challenge him, get this crowd into the game, try to crowd the line, put as much pressure on him as they can, and they feel that they've got a shot to slow him down. We'll see. It's first down, 15 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41. Gets it out quickly. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. From the 24-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. Quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 61-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. North Carolina lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. And he's level at the 38. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. From their own 38-yard line. It's first down. Fires it quickly. They can't connect. Incomplete. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Him hard at the 28. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Fielded at the 19. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. North Carolina is up by a touchdown. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. From the 21 yard line, first down. And a quick throw. He's taken down at the 13. That's a game. That makes it second and two. The 
That'll bring him down around the six yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's tackled at about the three yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Tar Heels. So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back, let him go in for six. And he adds the extra point. Burnett has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tar Heels really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. And he's hit immediately. A seven-yard gain that time for the play-action pass completion. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play-action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. And down he goes, around the 35-yard line. Laterals back. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Well, it's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. He gets rid of this one. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 46. Breaks the tackle and looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. Zips it to the back. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. North Carolina's on a roll. They've really been clicking in all phases of this one early. Yeah, when you play a team like this that you know you're physically better than, you just leave no doubt. Take control of the game early and try to dominate, and that's what we've seen. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Caught, and that's a first down. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. First 
Slings it left. And it's caught. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle at the 30. Number six on the tackle at the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. North Carolina to kick this one off. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. At the 30. Room around the corner. Brought down at the 40-yard line. North Carolina is looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Three yards. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 37 yard line. Gets out to around the 45. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and so far it's been pretty one sided. 17 to nothing, North Carolina. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Well, it's usually a good idea putting the ball in the hands of your halfback, but only when it stays there. Questionable call, but at least they're mixing up their offense a bit and trying to keep the defense on their toes. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Let's go! Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled in the open field. Allen makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires it out. He 
He's tackled at the 34. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 34. He's scrambling. Here's an opening. There he goes. He's taken down at the 45. From the 45 yard line, first down. Feeds it to the back. He makes it out to maybe the 43 yard line. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. They'll bring him down at the 27. That makes it first and 10. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. He goes out of bounds around the 23 yard line. That makes it second and six. Got him in the screenplay. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. From the 16-yard line, first down. Quick throw. Touchdown, North Carolina. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. No one open, so he's going to run. And he's leveled at the 45-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. quickly and he's got his man and down he goes around the 25 yard line and that play could have gone for six. Oh boy you're right and all week long this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and ten. Caught and he's brought down quickly. That makes it second and six. Quick 
strike to the receiver. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Down around the one yard line. Gain of three on the play. That brings him second and goal. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. This is the eighth play of this drive. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Minnesota! A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Nice eight play, 75 yard drive. But the failed two point conversion keeps it a six point score. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 24 6. He's taken down at the 26. The Tar Heels offense today, Herbie, we looked at it all week as being a ground-oriented attack, and I'm a little bit surprised by how they're moving the ball in the air. This has been fun to watch. You're right. I mean, I, I thought we'd come in and see a, a dominant running game, and up to this point, it's really been more about the quarterback and the receivers. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on the 26. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Nesbitt was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Spencer is the deep man awaiting the return. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Throwing left. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. the 40-yard line. First down. He delivers. And he's immediately tackled. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Slides down. <laughs> Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. 
Tackle made at the eight yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He gets out to about the six yard line. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. That makes it so Makes it out to about the five-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got it to his man on the screen. And this play is number eight on the drive. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Kicks away, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tar Heels are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to put the ball away. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. at the 35. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. Golden Gophers will use their first time out of the half. Spencer waiting the return. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at about the 45. From their own 45-yard line, first down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 37.
Goes over the middle, intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. A minute left in the half. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. He scrambles, and he's going to come up with a sack. From their own 20-yard line, third down. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. North Carolina is up by 15. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. I'm sure both teams have problems in the first half, but one of them, David, not moving the football. Both offenses really ran up and down the field. That we see this more in college football, Reese. More success on the offensive side, and it's harder and harder to stop these offenses that continue to get more and more complicated. The defenses, they got no answer. They got to find an answer quick, or else this ball game is just going to go tick for tack the whole second half. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They are ready to begin another drive. Good tackle there in space. Second down and seven. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's scrambling. They bring him down. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Third and nine. Ball on their own 26. Taken down at the 34. Spencer is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. Spencer fields it at the 22. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He throws a dart to the left. It's knocked away, incomplete. 
from their own 36 yard line. Second down. Here we go. Red 68. Hot. Passes it to the middle of the field. They'll bring him down at the 43 yard line. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled at the 45. Crawford awaits the snap. He fields the punt at the 16. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Steps out of bounds at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Here they come. He's wrapped up for the sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. And that'll be three and out. Spencer will be the return man. And he's taken down at the 43. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Catches it and he's looking for more. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38 yard line. and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Brought down at the 42. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. He gets to about the 31-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. Big opening. Brought down in the open field. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second. 
Second and five. Ball on the 16-yard line. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. That play fake good for five yards. I got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Minnesota's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. North Carolina holds an eight-point advantage. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at the 33. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And a quick throw. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the way. First down. Ball's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 43. The quarterback has some room. He finally goes down at the 21. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. North Carolina is up by eight. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 16-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Throws this one out to the left. The defender had it and then dropped it. North Carolina is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. 
The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Get to that quickly. Tackle at the 34-yard line. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry, and he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. It's second and 12. Ball on the 44. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That'll be a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Throws it deep. Almost intercepted. Hampton, the return man. From the 15, brought down at the 25. And for Johnson, what a night it's been. This is what makes it so difficult to stop this quarterback, is his versatility. If you load up to stop his ability to run the football, then he'll throw it by you. If you sit back and are concerned about his arm strength, then he has the athletic ability to scramble and take off. Here he comes for another round, looking to add to their two-score margin. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 22. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 37. He's taken down at the 47. So at the end of three, North Carolina leads it 27-16. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four.
Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 41. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. He steps out at the 38. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Pass complete and taken down immediately. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Burnett has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Brad, you look up at the scoreboard, and it's clearly crunch time for this offense. They've got to be able to sustain a drive, maybe look for a big play, but they have to have points on the board right here. Taylor takes it up the middle. He fights forward to about the 33. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. Nearly intercepted. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's brought down in the open field. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Fires it out. And he's tackled around the 47 yard line. six yards and with that they're going to pick up the first down that's a good call going with the draw there and put just enough pause in the defense to allow a good game it's first and ten ball on the 41 he's at the 30 gains his way to the 23 yard line the 15-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Third down again. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. Bring up 
And they don't get the first. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 19. That brings him second and five. From their own 19-yard line, second down. Wide out makes the first down catch. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. He's got 300 yards passing now. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. You can see when he throws the ball well, this team usually wins. He's hit and taken down. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Got a man in and out of his hands. Throws down the middle. It falls incomplete. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third and ten. Ball on the 38. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop at the 44. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Room around the corner. He takes it in at the 14, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete, almost picked off. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. get him in the backfield. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. That brings us fourth and 11. Crawford awaits the snap. He makes it to the 45-yard line. The Tar Heels offensive coaching staff's got to be asking the question, can we do this every week? Well, I think any great offense comes in with a plan, with an ability to run and to throw. And because this defense is so determined to stop the running game, you kind of turn the page in the playbook and you start to throw the ball more. They've recognized that, and they've done a very nice job of executing. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle right around midfield.
Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. Just over two minutes in the game. And he is drilled at the 34. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Got an opening. The Golden Gophers use their second timeout. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. Gets out to around the 18. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's stopped behind the line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Him hard at the 16. They chose to throw the ball here on third and short, and it proved effective as the little dump pass got them a new set of downs. From the 16 yard line, first down, and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. This is the 10th play of this drive. This one's all but wrapped up. The Tar Heels get the win, 30-16. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.